All right, y'all, hey, welcome to another episode of Let's Roll Outdoors. This is, we're rolling out here in the back waters, doing some brackish fishing. And check this out. As soon as I get this guy up, I'm gonna show you what we're doing today. Look at that dude right there. <laughs> nice black drum caught by that guy right there. Go ahead and film over there. All right, beautiful little black drum, keeper size. Look at that guy, two or three pounds. All right, and we're out here in the back waters I'm um, just doing some bottom rig fishing with some fresh shrimp for some black drum and red drum. So stick around. I'm going to get this hook out and we're going to show you get this rod out of the way, man. We're going to show you how to keep rods out of your way while you're filming and how we catch black drum and hopefully maybe some red drum. Uh, just taking your kids out and uh, doing some bottom fishing. All right. Thanks for clicking. Let's see. Let's uh, let's get into this action here. The sun is not conducive to our filming. Oh, there you go. You got that, you got this whole river to fish in and we cast right over that stump. Another little black drum. Okay, let's see. All right, good job. So let's see your rig real quick. What do you got going on there? All right. Oh, what you got back there? Got one behind you. Alright, we've only been here for about 20 minutes and we've caught, I don't know, seven or eight fish now, right? What do y'all think? Yeah? Are you getting bites too? Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, Gavin got two back there. The double. Alright. Here we go, folks. Alright. Alright, so this is just basically like your, uh, you know, you're catfishing or something like that for you freshwater fishermen. All right. You're just casting out hooks with bait on it, waiting for a fish to bite. All right, well, let's get him back in the water. Or here, let me take a picture of you. All right. One, two, three. All right, look at the boys doing some, doing some damage today with the black drum. All right, throw him back in there. All right. It's early spring, okay? It's the beginning of March just before turkey season, uh, just before the fishing really gets heated up. We, we've had a, about a good week of warm weather. Got up to uh, the low 70s today. We've had a few good days of warm weather. And I'm like, you know what, the fish are biting. Like they're here and we kind of can catch them here all winter long. Some days are better than others. But when you have a few days of good warm weather, hey, that's when things start going. So right now we're doing pretty good with the black drum, fresh shrimp, standard bottom rig, just like you would do cat fishing or surf fishing or anywhere else. And uh, we're just, Throwing the lines out there and chilling out, waiting for bites. You getting bites over there? Another one? Oh, what do you think? Oh, here we come. Just got another little black drum. All right. For those of you who are not familiar with the black drum, all right, these are little guys. All right, turn them sideways so you can see them. All right, sometimes people that are inexperienced, you know, they mistaken these for a sheep's head because they're black and white barred like that. All right, sheep head look like that as well. But look at this guy. This guy's a member of the croaker family, okay? He's a drum. And you can see he's got a completely different mouth than the sheep head. And he's got these little, little feelers down here, right? Little whiskers. And if you listen quietly, let's see if we can hear him. Okay, guess not. Yeah, put him on camera and he got camera shy. <laughs> like oh. He's croaking. oh, he's croaking now? So you can hear him croaking uh, when you reel him in there. Oh, let's see. Oh man, did you get another one? All right. Non-stop action. This would be perfect to bring the kids out, folks. I'm telling you, early spring, hit the back creeks. Throw some fresh shrimp on there and see what happens. Oh man, we're hooked up again. <laughs> hooked up again. You still on there? Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? A little bit bigger one, huh? Does he feel heavier? You got something bigger than the other ones you had. What is it? Dang. Is that another black drum? Bigger one though, huh? Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, nice one. Can you get him? 
Bring him over there where he can reach the water better. Oh, all right, all right. Nice one, buddy. Good deal. So for those of you at home, they gotta be 14 inches. Look at that one, nice one. All right. Oh, you hear him grunting? Get some more. What you got? What you got? Get some more. Another small one. All right. He's got a little meat on him. Got a little meat on him. like that two hook bottom rig is the way to go. High low rig, some people call it. Two hooks. One up top, one on the bottom. Yeah. Getting a lot more fish like that than we are with the Carolina rig style. Hey y'all, check it out. We're running out of light. I got a little bit of bait left and what I want to do is make a couple more bottom rigs here and throw a few more rods out there, use the bait up and see if we can get a few more keeper size fish to go home. I don't know if uh, any of y'all had a black drum before, but it's actually pretty good fish. Good white meat, thick fish, fry it up, bake it, do whatever you want with it, it'll be good. So this is what I'm gonna do. I got some 30 pound test here, which is way overkill, all right? You don't need 30 pound test for fishing like this, but <laughs> this is what I had in the bucket. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna make a loop on the line. I make a loop with my fingers and push the line through three times. One, two, oh, if I can get it. Okay, three times. Right, I'm gonna pull that tight, check that out. All right, then I'm gonna just go down here, I'm gonna make another loop right off the spool. One, two, three. Okay, so now here's what I got hanging out here. I got two loops hanging. And here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a swivel on this loop and I'm gonna put a weight on this loop. And then, where do you put the hooks? That's simple. The hooks go on the tag ends of your loops. All right, look at that. Oh, film behind you real quick, look at that, look at that. All right, we're still catching black drum. <laughs> catching them while we're still messing around here. So so this is what I'm gonna do, okay? Lightweight, we're out here in, the, in a creek. I don't need a lot of weight. But all I do is slide the loop, put the loop right through the eye of the weight, wrap it over the weight, and boom, there you go. Now the hook, hook or excuse me, now the weight hangs like that. I'm gonna do the same thing at the top with the swivel. Just gonna slide that through the swivel, wrap it over, and I'm gonna tie two hooks on there. And I'm right now I'm just using uh, some number fours and some number sixes, standard eagle claw long shank hooks, all right? Uh, also got a few small circle hooks in there that are perfect for uh, black drum fishing just like this, or just this is just like sitting on a river cat fishing or something where you would just throw bait in the water, just like surf fishing, just throwing it out there waiting for a bite. Simple as that and it's been great action. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch one more fish to wrap up this video, all right? Thanks for sticking around. What you got, bud? Here we go. Last fish of the day, you better be good. Woo, -hoo -hoo -hoo! look at that guy. Bring him over here where you can get him. Bring him over here where you're closer to the... Watch out for my rod there. No, it's okay, it's okay, here, here, here. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one there. Oh, look at Dad gets to hold the rod. Hold on, we're all a mess. We're all a mess. All right, all right. Relax, relax. Woo! Good job, buddy. Look at that one. Look at that one. Oh, now we're getting bites everywhere. It might be a school just came through, huh? Oh, you do have one. Look at that. All right, all right. How's he feel? A little bit bigger? Make sure he doesn't get around that stump. Keep him off that stump. Oh, you got a double. All right. That's a... All right. Well, show him to me and wrap up the show, boys. Oh, you do have a fatter one on the bottom. Careful. I got lighter line. Get him all. Get him all. <laughs> back to back to back fish here to wrap up the show. All right, look at that, boys. Look at that. All right, folks, so, so we're gonna wrap it up here. Check this out. All right, we got some keeper fish here and uh, some nice black drum action here in coastal North Carolina, beginning of March. It's a great way to get out of the, the winter doldrums. Come out here, catch some fish, 
and just have a good time with your kids. Like it's simple fishing, right? You throw some, some bait on the hook, some fresh shrimp. And I'll tell you, more often than not, that makes the huge difference in this brackish water and saltwater fishing when your bait is fresh. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're gonna roll out of here. It's getting a little dark and the mosquitoes are starting to come out. It's March, early spring fishing, black drum in these back creeks. All right, thanks for watching and uh, keep clicking, we'll keep making. I have a whole bunch of more videos that I, need, I still need to edit. So uh, just stay tuned, all right? Thanks and uh, have a good one. Let's roll.